Welcome aboard, fellow enthusiasts, as we embark on another incredible video. We're thrilled to present to you our video dedicated to POSCO International. Enjoy! POSCO International Corporation is South Korea's largest trading company and a subsidiary of POSCO. The company was founded by Kim Wichung in 1967 as Daewoo Industrial Company, Limited, which ran its business in trading and construction. In 1999, the company faced at least $50 billion in debt, and Daewoo became formally dismantled. In 2000, as Daewoo Group faced work out program, Daewoo Industrial Company, its trading segment was split and established as Daewoo International Corporation. Afterwards, it succeeded in general trading license and was listed on the stock market again. In 2016, the company name changed from Daewoo International to POSCO Daewoo. After merging with Poscoops in 2017, the company name was changed to what it is currently, POSCO International Corporation in 2019. On to November 2020, POSCO International and ERA AMS was to supply the Vietnamese carmaker VinFast with electrical vehicle EV components. It aimed to issue ESG bonds for first time for Korean trading companies in year 2021. In the year 2022, Posca International acquired Australian gas and energy company Cenex. In the year 2023, Posca International merged with its sister company Posca Energy, integrating upstream and downstream LNG movement. The company announced a new vision green energy and global business pioneer to create, connect, and complete business to enrich the future. POSCO International is making its way towards becoming a global eco-friendly integrated corporation. As we enter this new chapter, let's navigate the complexities of operations and unravel its multifaceted nature. POSCOINTERNATIONAL Corporation has its head office in 134, Tehran Ro, Gangnamgu, Seoul, Korea. Its global network consists of over 80 overseas branches and subsidiaries. Now, it's time to shift gears and explore business sectors. As of Jan 2023, after the merge with POSCO Energy, the company restructured in the following ways. The main purpose of organizational change was to boost energy business through the completion of LNG value chain and global trading in the sector's steel agroeco-friendly materials. Energy EAP, gas operations, energy ilm, solar, wind, hydrogen, resource development, steel expert timber triangular sales, semi-finished goods and long products, wire rods, thick steel plates, steel products for the energy industry, hot rolled steel sheets, cold rolled steel sheets, coated steel sheets, color steel plates, electrical steel, automotive steel sheets, stainless steel, steel building materials, lithium-ion battery materials, domestic processing and distribution, POSCO mobility solution, SDLU, agro-grain trading, palm oil, cotton business, new growth business bioplastics, eco-friendly car parts, public infrastructure, spit steel processing and manufacturing sectors as subsidiary, and names POSCO SPS which changed its name to POSCO Mobility Solution. Turning our focus to criticism, let's explore its key elements. POSCA has been criticized for running gas projects in Myanmar that financially benefit the country's military hunter. POSCA runs the Shugas project and have been named by The Guardian as one company profiting from its operations that have helped prop up the military regime. The EU has also sanctioned MOGE which owns a 15% stake in the Shugas project run by POSCO. POSCO's subsidiary company, PT Bio Inti Agrindo BIA, has faced criticism in Papua New Guinea for clearing 270 square kilometers of rainforest for a palm oil plantation between 2012 and 2018. The company has also been involved in disputes with indigenous communities about land rights. In 2020 the company adopted a new deforestation policy and said it would compensate some areas that it had deforested. 
according to Ecobusensicum Posca International, which has 34,000 hectares of palm oil plantations in Papua and produced about 80,000 tons of palm oil last year, will also require third-party suppliers to observe its no deforestation, no peatland, no exploitation NDPE policy. Let's now shift gears and explore history through a critical lens, uncovering its strengths and weaknesses. Year Accomplishments 1967 Three Daewoo Corporation was established 1982 Trade Division was incorporated into Daewoo Corporation 1999. Eight twelve companies under Daewoo Group including Daewoo Corporation Begin Workout Program 2000. 12 Daewoo International Corporation was spun off from Daewoo Corporation 2003. 12 The company completes the workout program 2004. 12 sales amount exceeded 5 trillion 1 2005. 1 received the grand prize for transparent management 2005. 3 receives the decoration of gold tower on the day of commerce and industry 2005. 5 company was incorporated into Kuxa Index 2005. 8 receives a global management grand prize from the Korea Economic Daily 2005. 11 Acquired Credit Rating 2005 12 Acquires Certification for Excellence in Information Systems 2006 6 Receives Prize for Excellence in Corporate Governance 2006 7 Receives the Prize of Merit Commemorating the 60th Anniversary of the International Trading Day 2006 12 receives the best prize in the sector of future management in the Management Grand Prize 2006. 12 acquired certification for an excellent company in Information Systems 2007. 5 acquired credit rating over 2007. 6 awarded Grand Prize for shareholder value the money today 2007. 10 awarded Grand Prize in the Sector of Global Management Korea Management Association 2007. 10 awarded Grand Prize for Digital Knowledge Management National Information Society Agency 2008. 2 secured Exploration Rights of Blocks in Uzbekistan 2008. 12 Daewoo International Japan Corporation acquires ISO 14001 Certification 2010. 8. The contract for a takeover was signed by POSCO and Korea Asset Management Corp. 2010. 10. Appointment of Lee Dong-hee as CEO and Chairman of BOD 2013. 6. Began commercial production of gas in Myanmar 2014. 5. Held a groundbreaking ceremony for a hotel in Myanmar 2015. 1. Relocated its headquarters to POSCO TOWERSO in GDO in Songdo. Incheon 2016. Two discovered gas reserves in Myanmar's offshore blocker D7 2016. Three changed company named POSCODAEWOO 2017. Three acquired the steel business unit of POSCOPS 2017. Three won gas exploration rights in Bangladesh's deep sea block 12 2019. 3 renamed as POSCOINTRNATIONAL 2020. 4 splits steel processing divisions as subsidiary POSCOSPS 2022. 3 acquired Senex Energy of Australia 2023. 1 merged with POSCOENERGY. Share this video with your friends and spread the knowledge.